and we are back hello everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks within less than 5 minutes so without wasting time let's get started so today's problem of the day of geeks for geeks is sub array range with given sum which is a medium level problem and i also think it's a medium level but a very common interview problem so please focus and let's see what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one array int of integer type and its name will be arr and also we will be given one integer target okay so these two things we will be given and what we have to do we have to return the count of sub arrays whose element sum is equal to target okay one one more time so we have to return the number of sub arrays whose sum is equal to target so if you will see this example we can see like this is an array uh, and this is our target so we have to return total sub arrays whose sum is equal to target sub arrays means continuous means if i am selecting 10 and i'm selecting minus 2 so 2 will already be there like we cannot discontinue it should, should not be should be continued array continued series okay so 10 2 minus 2 minus 20 and now if you will see the answer it is this 10 2 minus 2 minus 20 this is one sub array 2 minus 2 this is another sub array and minus 10 20 10 is another sub array but if you will see we cannot include this sub array 10 and minus 20 we cannot include this sub array why because it is not a Uh, continuous okay so if we have to select we will be selecting this whole array so i think the sub array problem the sub array thing and the problem statement is clear so let's find out how we can solve this so this is this problem is very based on a very interesting concept that is let me show you so if suppose i have to get array whose uh, let's say target is 7 for some time let's say for target is 7 and our sub array is something like 1 our array is something like 1 2 3 4 Five. Okay. Now, if the target, if the sum of this sub array is three, and the sum of this sub array is ten, so what will be the sum of this much sub array? What will be the sum of this much sub array? It will be seven. Okay. Because three is there, ten is the whole, and three is some part of it. So the remaining part sum will be seven. So yes, I have got one sub array whose sum is seven. Okay. So this is very very interesting thing. Look. Now what I will do, what approach I will do is I will be keeping in map all the Sum till then till that point. So for suppose let's take this one. Let's take this one. So what I will do? I will be first of all my sum will be zero, and map will be having nothing. So my sum is currently zero, and map is empty. Map is empty. Okay. All right. So now our sum is ten. Now for the first time our sum is ten, and I will put in map ten, and its count is one. Okay. All right. And let's say our answer. I will be keeping one more array as answer. Okay. After that, ten plus two. Our sum is twelve now. Okay. So after adding sum, after each adding sum, I will simply check if sum minus target is present in map. If sum minus target is present in map, I will simply increment my answer. Okay. I will simply increment my answer. Okay. All right. So twelve is not present. So I will do what? I will be adding twelve as well. Twelve count is one. And also, I am starting map. So at that point, my sum is zero. So let's keep zero count as one as well. Okay, something like this, right? Now again, I got minus two. Minus two. Okay. So what sum become? Sum become ten again. So I will increase the count of ten to two. Okay. Again, I will check ten, and then minus ten is the target. It's uh, like let's say minus ten, minus ten, minus twenty is present. My map no. Okay. So uh, like the condition will be simple sum minus target. Okay. All right. Again, I will get what minus twenty. So I will do minus twenty. All right. Now what will be the sum? What will be the sum? Sum will be minus ten. Sum will be minus ten. So what I will do? Minus ten and minus minus ten. So it will be plus ten. Okay. It will be zero. So zero is already present. I will increment by answer by one because count of zero is one. Again, now look, sum is zero. So I will increment by count to two. I will increment the count by two. Okay. Again, look. Now this is done. Now I got ten. Okay. I will got ten. I got ten again. So what will be the sum now? Look. Sum is zero. Sum is zero at this point. Sum is zero. So again, I will check. I will check what zero is my sum and minus minus plus minus target means minus ten minus minus plus ten. So I will check ten in map. I will check ten in map. Is ten in map present? Yes, it is present two times. So I will increment my answer by two. Simple. And I will get my answer that is equal to three. So you can dry run this, and uh, every time you will get the correct answer. So I will dry run this code. Now I will request every one of you to write the code as well. So let's see. And uh, yeah, I am going to write the code again. So look. i will be first of all using map of integer type 
and if you are like coding in any language i think the, all the languages are same if you know the concept if you know the idea so i will be having some variables as well sum is equal to 0 and answer is equal to 0 as well look i will do all the those things which i have already explained now i will be putting map 0 and its sound will be 1 okay for the first time and after that i will be running on loop in i for each loop it will be getting all the elements from array and uh, adding to the sum sum plus equal to i after that i will check if mp dot contains key of what key what sum minus target if it is containing so what i will do i will increment my answer to mp dot get sum minus target okay and after that what i do i will be increasing the sums frequency by 1 so i will be doing something like mp dot put what sum comma i p dot get or default sum comma 0 plus 1 it means what this line means ki if sums if that fail let's suppose at this point my sum is 10 so if 10 is present in map increment its frequency by 1 and if 10 is not present there its frequency will be 0 and then it will be by 1 so it will be 1 so get means sum and otherwise default value will be what 0 okay and after that i will simply return my answer here let's compile and run this i am also solving it for the first time actually so let's see if i will be able to solve it or not let's submit the code and meanwhile if you have loved the solution please don't forget to subscribe the channel like the video and comment down your feedback as well okay so all the test cases are passed and i have got my geek bit as well so it was my attempt one i hope the concept is clear and please try run this once more if you face any difficulties and comment section is always open so i will see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye and please subscribe the channel